This video training will show you how you can install PHP script locally. We'll be using ZAMP server to do that. And this is a software we use to install or to run our scripts locally without buying a live server. We can use this to test our live applica our, our applications before deploying it on our live server. Go ahead and download ZAMP software. I have a link in the description that will send you to the official site where you can download this software. Once the software is fully downloaded and installed, make sure you run Apache and MySQL. After enabling those two modules, let's minimize the software. After that, go to your browser and type localhost. Immediately you see this interface, it means your XAMPP software is successfully installed and is running. Please, let's go to my computer. So I'll take you to computer and let's navigate to C drive. Go to ZAMP. Go to HC docs. Please, this is where we're going to be uploading our script. I hope you have your script ready. This is the script I want to install. And this is SMM script that's social media marketing script if you want to learn how to build your own social media marketing site where users can come buy subscribers buy youtube likes views and those things i have another video in the description that will show you how to build a website like that but in this video we're going to learn how to install this script locally without having a live server we are first of all going to extract the script. To extract it, just right click and go to extract files. After that, click on OK. Let's wait for our file to get extracted. We have successfully extracted our zipped folder. The next thing we'll be doing is to go and get or grab our core files. Go ahead and open that folder. Let's locate our core files. So that's files and let's zip it. So right click and click on add to archive. After that, your archive format, pick zip and then OK. So this will zip our core files and we'll be using this on our XAMPP software. So let's wait for the process to complete and we'll continue the tutorial. We are done zipping our core files. The next thing we'll be doing is to grab our zipped file, right click, copy, go to ZAMP, and let's paste those files here. Let's extract it. And click on OK. Let's wait for the process to complete. The process is complete. Go to your extracted folder. Double click on it. Double click again. And we're going to copy these files. So right click. Copy. Click here to go up one level, up one level. And when you get to the root directory, and that's htdocs, this is the root directory, okay? Click, that's right click, create a new folder and give this folder a name. So what website are you building? In my case, I'm setting up SMM website. So guess give that folder SMM and then hit enter. Let's open that folder and we're going to paste our copied files inside that folder. So let's wait for the process to complete. We have successfully moved those core files to our directory. That's our root directory. 
inside the root directory we have another folder and we named it smm now let's go back to our public directory type local hosts and you should see something like this please we're going to delete all these files they are no longer needed okay so to delete your files go back to your ht docs and we're going to delete this file and delete this file this file is my personal file okay but in your case you're going to have only this and this so let's delete those files after deleting those files we are now left with our folder so now if you go back to your public directory your local host and reload the page you see something like this let's click on it after clicking on it you should see server error message like this All right now don't panic we have not yet created our database so to create your database go back to your software that's zamp let's click on here admin okay And you'll be taken to php my admin this is where we create our databases to create your first database on top you see new just click on new and let's give our database a name for organization purposes i'm going to name it or i'm going to give it my website name so i'll click on it and i'm going to type smm after that let's click on create and our database has been created successfully after creating your database, the next step you take is to create your user, all right? So to create your user, click here, PHP my admin. Just click on that. And you should see user accounts. Click on user accounts. After that, we're going to create our first user account. To create that beneath, you can see add user account so just click on add user account first we're going to give our username so let's enter here and type your username so i'll put something like user name you can enter whatever username you want but this is the username i want you can enter your own name whatever you want put that there next up make sure you click here and pick local and here automatically will be filled for you that's localhost so just leave it as it is next up come here and type your password so i'm going to click and type password p a s s w o r d repeat the same password here p e s s like this after that scroll down and click here to select all privileges after that continue scrolling and click on go let's wait for our user account to get created and successfully we've created our first user account so next what do we need to do we're going to import our database because this script comes with its own database sql file so click on your database name Okay, your database, which is this one, go to import. After landing on this page, just click on choose file. Click or navigate to wherever you have your script installed. So I will take you back. In my case, I have my script on desktop. So go to desktop here and you should see a folder called database. Double click on it and then double click on your database. Scroll down and click on import. Now let's wait for this file to get uploaded onto our local server. When the upload is successful, you should see something like this. Import has been successfully finished. Congress. 
So the next thing we'll be doing now is to connect our script to our database or our server. How do we do that? Go back to your HC docs here. Open your the folder asks you to create. Open that and locate. I don't know the script you are using, but make sure you locate a file called environment. In my case, I have it inside applications and dot env that's environment file please we're going to edit this file so guess you can double click on it all right double click on it to open it this is where we enter our database details please database host let's remove this and put local local host our database name remember my database name is smm the username is user name. Password is password. After that, just make sure you save your changes. After saving the changes, you can close this page, minimize everything. Now let's go back to our site. Make sure you type localhost forward slash the folder asks you to create and hit enter. and successfully our software is installed just like that i have a video in the description of this video that will show you how to build this exact site i set up this website in my other video okay so if you want to build your own social media marketing website like this go ahead and watch that video and that's it guys that's how you build us all you host a script locally on your PC without buying a live server. I hope you learned some valuable lessons out of this video. Consider subscribing to the YouTube channel. Hoping to see you in my next episodes. Stay blessed. Bye-bye.